uh, hi all uh, in this video we'll talk about sine and uh, cos functions and uh, I'll start uh, with the triangle so suppose if I have a triangle where two sides are perpendicular to each other or the angle is uh, 90 degree then uh, I can define one of them as base one of them as uh, length and other as a hypotenuse right so then I have an angle here so what uh, the sine theta means is it defines the relationship between the angle and the length so sine theta is defined as uh, length divided by hypotenuse so what does it really mean it means that there is a relationship that L is proportional to H or L is equal to constant H so in any case of uh, triangle uh, the length is proportional to the hypotenuse and that relation that constant is sine theta so that constant will depend upon the theta or the angle right so if the angle is very very high then hypotenuse will approach uh, length and if angle is very very low then length will be approximately equal to zero so how how that will look like so let's take an example so if theta is equal to zero right so if theta is equal to zero then triangle will all submerge so this is this is our uh, height hypotenuse and this is our base and the length is now zero right so if length is zero then sine of theta which is uh, length divided by hypotenuse will also be zero so this is how the sine theta will look like however when uh, theta is uh, approaching uh, 90 degree so in this case the triangle will now look like this so this is our uh, hypotenuse this is length and now the base is almost equal to zero so when base is almost equal to zero and uh, h is h and l are equal then sine of uh, 90 degrees uh, will be approximately equal to one or, or will be equal to one not approximately will be equal to one so this is how uh, the sine will change a sine of theta will change and that's why we have sine of 90 as one and sine of zero as zero right uh, now what uh, will happen if the lengths are uh, angles uh, goes beyond 90 degree so in this case you can think of uh, 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 the 2d coordinates so if i'm if i'm looking at this triangle right so this is our theta so theta can also go in the negative direction so it can go in this side so when it goes in this side then if i'm looking at length then the length is now negative so this is minus length so this theta is negative theta or or, or i can also call it as Uh, so this will be equal to 360 minus theta so irrespective of whether sine of 360 minus theta that should be equal to sine of minus theta and that should be equal to minus L by hypotenuse right so this is how this relationship will come so whenever you have to think about sine sine waves you think about the 2d coordinates 2d, 2D uh, uh, map and uh, try to draw the circle and if you draw the triangle if you draw this triangle in your mind you should be able to figure out this relationships so again if I'm looking at uh, sine of uh, 180 degrees so what will be that so in this case sine of 180 will be so you can go from here to here to here and here so when sine sine of 180 again the hypotenuse will approach the base so that should be equal to sine of zero and that should be equal to zero because we again approach the x-axis so this is x-axis and this is y-axis and uh, now if i go more here so now this is equal to 270 so sine of 270 should be equal to uh, because now we have moved all the way in this direction 
and now we are in the negative length so however this is approaching the hypotenuse so if i try to draw uh, the length here then hypotenuse will be like like this so therefore uh, in this case h will be equal to negative length and therefore sine of 270 will look like minus 1 and uh, again if i go to uh, sine of uh, 360 then that will again become 0 so this is how the sine works uh, so let me try to draw the wave here so if i'm looking at the wave and this is the sine theta and this is theta so when it's uh, 0 degree so let me start here so when theta is 0 then sine will be equal to 0 and when I have 90 degrees then sine will be 1 when I have 180 it will again goes to 0 and uh, when I go to 270 then it will be in the negative direction so this is how the sine wave will look like and then it will come back to 360 and then keep coming going back like this so that's why we have sine wave so this is 360 and this is 360 plus 90 and this is 360 plus 180 and this is 360 plus 360 so if you draw sine of theta versus theta this is how the wave will look like uh, now just to because uh, we are already into the discussion let's also talk about cos theta uh, so if we have a cos cos uh, theta how cos theta is related to the sine theta so let's have a theta here and then this is uh, base and this is uh, uh, this is length and we have hypotenuse right so if you if you look here then uh, cos of theta instead of length we have base divided by hypotenuse so how that will relate to uh, the sine theta so oh, let me say here uh, sine of cos of theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse right so how does that relate to uh, the sine thetas so if you look here when when base goes to zero then h is same as l so in this case theta will be equal to 90 degrees so therefore sine of 90 is equal to 1 however cos of 90 is equal to 0 so now you can see that when sine is at its maximum cos is at its minimum it's zero now same time if base is same as hypotenuse in this case length will approach zero and when length approach zero then theta is also approaching zero so in this case sine of zero will be equal to zero I should say equal to zero and uh, cos of zero will be equal to one so again when sine is zero then cos is at its maximum so if I go back to the wave here so wherever we have a maximum for sine we need to have zero for cos so zero for cos zero for cos so if I draw uh, and when we have a zero for sine then we have one for cos and again in this case we'll have one for cos we have one for cos and uh, here we have one for cos so if you draw this cos wave it will be little different from sine wave right so this is what is called phase shift so by just changing the angle 
or I'm just moving from cos to uh, sine, I can have a little shift in the whole wave. And now wherever the maxima was, now we have uh, something different. Um, so you can also call this as that sine of theta uh, is equal to cos of 90 minus theta. So why is that? So if you, if you, if you look at uh, this triangle again, if I'm looking at this theta, this is 90 minus theta. So all I need to do is I need to tilt this triangle. So if I tilt this triangle in this direction, then triangle will look more like this. And this will be 90 minus theta. Uh, this is same as hypotenuse. Now length is here and base is here. This is because I tilted it. So when I tilt it, then this is how it will look like, right? So now if you look at cos theta, then then cos of uh, 90 minus theta will be equal to length divided by base. But we know that if this is theta, then that's equal to sine of theta, right? So therefore, cos of 90 minus theta is same as sine of theta or you can also say as uh, you can also see that in the wave so if i'm going back to the wave you can see that we started from uh, zero for sine wave but if i have sine of uh, 90 minus theta then the wave will look something like that and that's also equal to cos of theta so this is called a 90 degree phase shift.